Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool. Enjoy the video. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a fan of pausing during cutscenes, but it's, it happens when I have something important to say. Like, like, the thing about it is that I'm not, I'm not gonna knock most people for their preferences, right? Because we all have our preferences, right? I would rather play a 100-hour game for the first playthrough rather than playing something like Call of Duty or Fortnite or what have you, right? That's my preference. And people that like their Call of Duties and their 2Ks and their Fortnites and what have you, that's their preference. However, the problem lies when you have people who demonize, disingenuously talk about, and say everything they can for a game franchise that they do not play, that they choose not to play, and then they come over into our turf and try to talk about or review or criticize or what have you and then they just skip over all the stuff because they have been programmed to just do own go from point a to point b as fast as possible don't care about anything else or they want to finish things as quickly as possible and not think about anything else they don't want to they haven't played games of their condition to think about what's happening or even propose the chance to think about and talk about things then they're, they're not used to stuff like that so on one hand i can kind of be forgiving when you have your fortniter coming over to play a final fantasy or a trails or a tales or kingdom hearts or <clears throat> or a, a fucking or a fairy fencer or a metal gear solid or what have you a, a chrono trigger, a breath of fire, a fire emblem, yada, yada, yada. If they come over and they try it, that's cool. But when they blatantly ignore everything, just for the sake of saying something about it, that is where I have a problem. And that is where I have issue with. Because I've, I've had to deal with Weird people being weird when it comes to conversations about that, those kinds of things and that stuff. And, like, yeah, like you said, I did just describe mainstream game journalists. And that's another thing, too, but that's for a separate video. However, however, the main underlying issue with that is people willingly choosing not to have uh, reading comprehension... Or any semblance of media literacy when, as I said earlier, they're conditioned to play things that can be done in like 20 minutes. Like you do one part of the game or one mode of the game, you've, you've seen everything the game has to offer. They're not going to know how to act when you have to play something that actually requires you to make not split second decisions, but require you to think two, three, four, seven steps ahead. And stuff like that and things that throw you like meaning me meaningful twists and, and 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 gotchas and surprises at you and all of a sudden the third most people that play games are not conditioned for those kinds of things which is why i find it so funny that when i have video game discussions with people and i explain to them that yeah i would rather play a game that takes me a hundred hours to beat it one time then play something that can be done in like eight hours. And that's like the whole thing right then and there. Or why I would rather play something that takes extra, extra long in comparison to, I don't know, an, uh, an, an Animal Crossing or a Stardew Valley or some other farming game. Not knocking on farming games. That was just the first thing that came to mind. I would rather have something that sends me on, a, an, on an emotional roller coaster with like really really detailed and solid storytelling as compared to something that isn't that like like you won't ever catch me playing a red dead or a gta because those games don't interest me i understand that red dead redemption has a story 
But that's not the kind of story that interests me. Just the same way you'll never catch me playing The Last of Us. Because that has a story. But it's not the kind of story that I'm interesting, n- interested in. Nor is that the kind of storytelling that I prefer. I prefer storytelling storytellings in the fashion of your Final Fantasies, your Chrono Triggers, your Kingdom Hearts, your Breath of Fires. Your st- stuff like that. You know, your you're near... You Drake and Guards, you Near Automatas, your Metal Gear Solids, um, stuff like that. You know, your 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 fantasy stars, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's where my preference lies in games, and that's why, like, even through playing those games for so long, I have learned how to. What's the phrase I'm looking for? Appreciate long-term, long-winded media. I feel more than most people. Because it's like... It's like watching a movie, right? You watch the movie. The movie happens right in front of you on screen. You talk about the movie. You you not necessarily review it, but you break the movie apart to try and find more and more things that you appreciate about it. Or certain things that have maybe confused you or... Things that have made you angry, but it gives you a deeper understanding of the thing. That's why I play these games all the time. That's why this is my bread and butter. That's why this is what most of my fucking content is. Outside of, you know, the action games I do play here and there. Because, you know, your Devil May Cries, your Metal Gear Risings, this and this and that. That's why I like this stuff. But, to see people willingly talk shit about other forms of games that they willingly do not play but say stupid shit about if it's done as a joke yeah sure whatever but most people don't do it as a joke most people are really really serious about the shit and that's why for me personally i don't often have video game conversations with people who don't necessarily share the same interests with me as in like i don't approach them and being like hey let me tell you about this hundred plus hour game to someone that absolutely despises turn-based games or or long games like i'm not gonna do that but if it happens naturally as part of the conversation then yeah, sure. That's great. I'm okay with that. But point being is that when it comes to really long games, I like when people pay attention to the shit and engage in actual conversation with the shit and you know, are serious about it and don't just try to be an asshole about it. Like the the less average video game enjoyer that dips into their mainstream games journalism bag, the better. Because then we can have more meaningful conversations about games as a whole. But the more people that do that, the less people we can have real-ass video game conversation with. And that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. 